today I'm going to make ice cream. I've got my ice cream maker, I've got all my ingredients here, and I'm going to assemble it now. So we need um, some cream, I've got some sugar, we've got some uh, cocoa, and I've got some pasteurized egg yolks. So the recipe I'm going to double, and here's what the recipe is so far. It's two-thirds cup of white sugar, so I've got uh, double the amount here. I'm also decided to try and use uh, some cane sugar. So this is uh, yellow cane sugar with white sugar. So two-thirds cup double mixer. Next up, we have a third of a cup of cocoa, unsweetened cocoa. So I've doubled the recipe here as well. I'm going to pour that into the mixer. Not to make a mess. And then I'm going to stir them again. Here. Now, next up, I'm going to add uh, the egg yolks and then blend it all together. So, egg mixture. These are the pasteurized egg yolks. I was kind of concerned of using raw egg yolks in this particular recipe, so I learned how to pasteurize. Now, so I'm just going to stir this together. Put on my shoot here. Now, as this mixes, I'm going to pour in two and two thirds cup of heavy cream. And remember, I've doubled the recipe. Uh, those were six egg yolks in there, pasteurized, of course. So we need two and two thirds cup. Of, and this is 35% uh, cooking. This is two cups. I'm just going to pour this in slowly. chocolate ice cream. And I thought I would um, kick it up a bit. I'm going to add just a teaspoon of vanilla. Only like because I love vanilla. This one is uh, Mexican vanilla. What you do, I'm just going to give it a quick stir, is you put it in the fridge, cool for a bit, and then you're going to put it into the ice cream maker. So while I wait for my ice cream mixture to cool in the fridge, I thought what I would do was chop up some brownies that I've made uh, earlier, and I'm going to add this uh, to the mixture about uh, maybe two, three minutes before it's actually complete. So I thought I would just chop that up for now and add it in. So my ice cream maker says that I can add a cup of pretty well anything that you like to the mixture, but it has to be small pieces. So I'm just chopping it up here, the last few bits that I need for this mixture. So uh, to make it easier to chop the brownies up, I actually froze them which I find is a lot easier to cut up once it's frozen. So some of the other things that you could add, and uh, these brownies have walnuts, so that's something else you could add, a couple of walnuts if you want. You could probably add fruit, although I'd probably use a vanilla ice cream rather than a chocolate one to add fruit, but if that's what you like, then go ahead and do it. So just completing this now, and then I'm going to just put them back into the freezer so that once it doesn't want to thaw. So if I go over a little bit, I don't think that's going to matter. We shall see. We have one cup of outrageous brownies. Okay. The mixture has been cooled and one of the additional things that now you can add to it, these are semi-sweet chocolate chips. I've run them through the blender. Uh, it's about a third of a cup and of course because I'm doubling the recipe, I've doubled this as well. So I've got this here in my hand and now I'm going to pour it into the mixture and stir it in and then I've got the insert that goes into the ice cream maker. I'm going to pour this into the insert and then put it into the machine. So let's just stir this in. This is going to be very chocolatey. Okay, so that's stirred. Now I'm going to put this into the mixer. Or the mixture. By the way, this is a two-quart mixer and this will make about And then for about 25 to 35 minutes in your ice cream maker, just give it a ring. It starts to spin. We'll see you in 25 minutes. During the last five minutes, I'm now going to add the brownie pieces to my mixture. Let's see what we can do here. Ready? Now I'm going to 
actually scoop it into, I uh, just have an ice cream container here. Uh, I've just cleaned it and I can reuse it. So I'm just going to give this a good big stir. I'm using a metal spoon, so it's very thick. And this recipe, if you love chocolate, you'll like this. It has a consistency of a mousse. Here we have the completed product. So this should make about two quarts, so we'll see if we can fill this thing. Okay. And there we have a two quart chocolate ice cream with brownie bits. See ya.